Regardless of where any remaining dinosaurs were on Earth, they were hit with this fiery hailstorm. But these glass bullets didn't need to hit the dinosaurs to be fatal. As these tektites fall, their friction with the atmosphere emits enough thermal radiation to set fires across the planet. By some estimates, the combined heat of the returning embers heats the planet to the equivalent of an oven set to broil. Most of the world's trees burn, which is perhaps why the only bird species that survive the impacts are those that nest on the ground. Of the few larger land animals to avoid extinction, nearly all have had some means of escaping the heat. They either could burrow like small mammals, snakes and lizards, or escape into water like crocodiles or turtles. Even if the poor dinosaurs were on the other side of the world, they would have needed to find protection from the initial heat blast. In a final piece of terrible luck for the dinosaurs, Chicxulub happens to strike an area rich in oil and sulfur. The impact ejects 100 billion tons of vaporized sulfur and 30,000 quadrillion gallons of water into the atmosphere, which then condenses into massive storm clouds and falls back as torrents of acid rain.